In this video I'll show you exactly how to set up an Apple laptop like my 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch so it can be used with two monitors. Don't go away. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now this is a real quick and dirty for you. I know some of you like that. If you want to jump straight to the solution without the background context, go to this time in the video. Or look in the description below where I'll put a timestamp. Anyway, for those of you who can spare another minute or so and can just breathe. Recently I put together a bit of a working from home setup like a billion other people. I've got two monitors hooked up to my work laptop which is an HP laptop running Windows 10. Now in the evenings I thought it would be really good if I could switch it up and use the monitors for my MacBook so I could use them for things like video editing. The advantages I saw were more real estate for tired eyes for one thing and if I could open up Final Cut Pro in one window and the finder in another that would make it heaps easier to drag and drop media straight into my project without having to do it all in one window. So I thought it must be super simple. I got myself a couple of HDMI cables, a USB-C dongle, an HDMI splitter. So I could have one HDMI cable from my laptop into the splitter and then two HDMI cables from the splitter, one to each monitor. And it didn't work. All I got was the same screen mirrored across both monitors which is uh, not really what I wanted. So a quick consult with uh, Mr. Google and Mrs. YouTube and well, I found lots of confusion and no real solutions. I did find people who had done exactly what I'd done and that didn't really help other than make me feel not quite as stupid because others had done the same thing. So after a bit of experimentalizing, that's um, it's good English. After a bit of experimenting, I found a solution. So here it is, this is what has worked for me. So you need two HDMI cables and yes, two dongles. In my case, it's a relatively new laptop, the 2019 MacBook Pro, so the dongles have to be USB-C. If you have an older machine, you'll need a dongle that's compatible with your laptop ports. Now I know some dongles are quite expensive, uh, but they don't have to be. This one cost me 70 New Zealand dollars, which is about 46 US dollars, which isn't cheap, but I have seen them up to 170 New Zealand dollars, which is about 110, 112 US dollars. Uh, and then this one I actually borrowed from work. It's, it's USB-C. It's actually an old HP branded one. Um, it's pretty old and I was a bit skeptical, but it worked. So this is what I did. I put the MacBook to sleep and then closed the lid. Now I've already got the HDMI cables plugged into the monitors so I'll take one of those cables and I'll plug that into the dongle and I'll plug that dongle into the MacBook. Then I'll do the same with the other one. Into this one I've also got my wireless mouse dongle and I've also got my wired keyboard. I'll plug that in there but I'll take the HDMI cable from the other monitor and I'll plug that into the dongle and then I will plug that dongle also into the MacBook. Then I'll move my mouse or keyboard or something to wake up the MacBook. Uh, but before I do that I'll also put in the power cable into one of the dongles as well. That wakes the whole thing up. Now because I've got my work laptop attached to the monitors but through display ports and the work laptop is off at the moment, the monitors have decided to take the feed from the MacBook Pro. If I did have the work laptop on and I wanted to look at the feed from the MacBook, I would have to tell the monitors which feed to accept. Every monitor is slightly different, but you go into the input settings and I've got a display port and an HDMI. The display port is for the work monitor, uh, the work laptop, so I'd select HDMI and the feed from the MacBook Pro would go onto the monitors. So there we go, we've got two independent monitors all set up. Just to show you, I'll open up Final Cut Pro in one. And a finder window, which I'll move over here. So now I can take files from the finder window, drag and drop them into the Final Cut Pro window, or I can open up a web browser or something like that. So there you go, you're ready to rock and roll. And to top things off, I did try one little bit more of magic and I thought, what would happen if I just opened up the MacBook lid? Yep, 
so now I've got three independent windows, which is a little bit overkill for my needs, but nice to know it's there if you wanted it. Now, speaking of MacBooks, I've done a quick review of the 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch, and I'd cover what I believe is the absolute best feature of this machine. So be sure to check it out in this video. So there you go guys, that's how you can set up your MacBook with more than one monitor. As I said, it was just a quickie that I wanted to get out because I know there's lots of people out there who've got the same issue that I had. If you got value from the video, be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.